this is the season of Easter. We all know what Easter represents in our lives. Let's begin to thank God. Let's exalt his name. Let's worship him for this season. Let's thank that while we were yet sinners, he sent his only begotten son to die for you and I. If not for Christ on the cross of Calvary, where we will be right now. For God so loved us so much that He sent His holy begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Let's thank God that we are not on the path of destruction because of His death on the cross of Calvary. Let's thank God that we're not going to perish because He loved us while we were yet sinners. Because, not because we have been faithful, not because we are righteous, not because we have shown him so much love, but because he loved us. Let's thank God. Lord, we exalt you this day. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. We bless your mighty name. In the ancient of days. Thank you for loving us so much, for creating us in your own image. And not just that, sending your son to die for our sins. We thank you for the season. We thank you for the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. We thank you because by his stripes we have been made whole. We thank you for the finished work on the cross of Calvary. We thank you, Lord, for every, every victory, every form of victory that we have given us as Christians. On account of the death of Christ on the cross of Calvary, we cannot thank you enough. If we had 10,000 tongues, it's not sufficient to give you all the glory. It is not sufficient to pay you back for this great love that he has shown us. That we are grateful. That we say thank you. We exalt your name. We lift your name high above heavens. We return all glory to your holy name. Ancient of days, lion of the tribe of Judah, we say thank you, Daddy, as a family, individually. Oh Lord, we touch. We say thank you, thank you, Daddy. We exalt your holy name. We return all glory to your mighty name. Thank you for the death of Christ on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for washing away our sin, washing away our iniquities, cleansing us totally, making us as white as snow. Thank you for the blood, the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel, the blood that availed much for us as Christians. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving us, for preparing a place of eternal rest for us ahead of. Oh Lord, thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Ah, he grew old, Oh Lord. How can we pay back for our sins, our iniquities? How can we recompense for our iniquities if not for the death of Christ on the cross of Calvary? That we thank you that we do not have to buy bullocks or ram. We do not have to buy cows to wash away our sins. Thank you, Lord, for the death of Christ. Thank you, Daddy, for the death of Christ on the cross of Calvary. May your name, Lord, be praised forevermore in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now, because of the season of Easter, we brought, which is all about the resurrection of Christ, we'll begin to pray that everything that is mm. dead in our life, by the power that brought about mm. the resurrection of Christ, the mighty power of God, the blood about the resurrection of Christ will bring back to life every good thing that is dead in our lives. You know it, you, we, if you need a second to reflect, whatsoever good thing, be it a project, any area and aspect of our life that seems dead, let's begin to pray. Oh God, by the power that brought about the resurrection of Christ, bring back to life every good thing that is dead in my life. In my life, in the life of every member of my family, Every good thing that is said in the name of Jesus by the power that brought about the resurrection of Christ. Bring to life, let the mighty power rest upon every good thing, every good habit, every good project, every good thing that is dead, that seems dead, that has been passive in our lives. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, every good thing that you have deposited in her that is dead, every blessing, every every aspect of my life, Lord, every spirit, be it my spiritual life, my finances, my career, my marital life, every area and aspect of my life that seems not working. But that is Sakadabo Shinde Hiba Sinkariaba. By the power that brought about the resurrection of Christ, bring back to life every good thing that is dead in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. All the let the mighty power that brought about the resurrection of Christ revive every good thing that is dead in my life in the name of Jesus. We pray, we pray for a mighty revival, a mighty revival of our spiritual life in every area of our spiritual life where we have been cold, where we have been lukewarm. Lord, I call upon the mighty power, the brother about the resurrection of Christ to bring it back to life. Every area and aspect of my life that seems not working, every area and aspect of my life that is dead in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we are prayed in the mighty name of Jesus we are prayed let's begin to decree you call that particular area of your life and, and, and call back life into it in the name of Jesus I call back to life every good thing that is dead in my life in the name of Jesus I speak life and in the name of Jesus let the power that brought about the resurrection of Christ on account of the Lord, I call back to life in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that is dead in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. I speak life in the name of Jesus. I stand on the solid rock, which is Christ Jesus, that resurrected during this season. I call back to life every good thing, every area and aspect of my life that seems dead in the name of Jesus. I speak to my spiritual life. I speak to my finances. I speak into my every good project that has stopped working in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Let's begin to thank God because on the count of this season, every good thing is back to life. Every good thing that is dead is back to life. The piety power that has brought about the resurrection is bringing back to life every area and aspect of Thank you. We thank you that on account of the season, every good thing that seems dead in our life, in our family is back to life. We thank you for the mighty power that brought about the resurrection of Christ that is a work in our life, in the church of God, in our family, in the, in the life of every prevailer. We thank God the things are coming back to life in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. We are still in the attitude of prayer. And right now we are going to pray with the theme of this program. Lift it up of embargo. We are going to pray. Oh God, whatsoever represents embargo in my life, in my family, by the reason of this program, I neutralize them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and cry unto God. Lord, according to the theme of this program, every embargo is here by name of Jesus, whatsoever represents embargo in our lives, in this ministry, Lord, today, they are neutralized. They are neutralized in the name of Jesus. They are neutralized in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh Lord, let restoration power be manifested in this program. Open your mouth and cry unto God. Lord, we commit this program unto your hand. We pray, Lord, that the restoration power will be manifested in this program, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we call for the restoration power to be manifested in this program. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray, let the restoration power be manifested in this program. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
people on us shall be lifted. Embargo on this ministry, be lifted. Embargo on employment, on against my life, be lifted. Embargo on success, be lifted. Embargo on destiny, be lifted. Open your mouth and begin to cry. Wherever there can be embargo, let them be lifted in this program. Let them be lifted in this program. In the name of Jesus, you embargo on destiny, be lifted. In the name of Jesus, embargo on career, be lifted. In the name of Jesus, embargo on peace of some people, be lifted. In the name of Jesus, we challenge you, be lifted. What's what represent embargo in the life of everyone that will be coming, be lifted, be lifted. We say no to you, we rebuke you, be lifted, be lifted. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever represent the bagel, be lifted. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, let my life be free from embargo from today. In the name of Jesus, cry unto God this morning. Oh God, I pray, Lord, let my life be free from embargo. In the name of Jesus, let my destiny be free from embargo. In the name of Jesus, in this program, O oh Lord, let my life, O oh God, be free from all embargo. In the name of Jesus, let my destiny be free from embargo, Lord. In the name of Jesus, every embargo labor upon my life, expire now, expire now. Embargo labor upon my life, be expired, expired, expired. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And lastly, we are going to pray that every embargo on every star be lifted in the name of Jesus. That our dead star will rise and shine in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and crown to God. Oh God, if there is any anyone here, let it be lifted right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And after this program, Lord, let our star rise and shine in the name of Jesus. You all stars that has embargo before, we address in the name of God that is above that name. Rise and shine now. Rise and shine now. Rise and shine now. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray, oh Lord, after this, after this program, package me for global announcement. Package me for global connection. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and cry. The Lord, after this program, package me, Lord, for global announcement, for global connection. In the name of Jesus. When embargoes are removed, the next thing that will follow is announcement. Lord, package me for divine announcement, Lord. Global announcement, Lord. Global connection, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We see praying under this session, we'll be praying against untimely death, losses, and calamity. You will not be a victim. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not be a victim. You will not be a victim. You will not experience untimely death. By the grace of God, there shall be no sudden widow here. No sudden widow here. There shall be no barrier in your house. You will not call anyone for a barrier. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power behind negative experiences in your life, let them catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You will pray after me. Say, oh God, lift up your right hands now to heaven. Say, oh God, in your mercy. From untimely death and losses and calamity. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God, everyone present here and all our members home and abroad and those who are on their way and every member of this house, Lord, deliver us from untimely death. Deliver us from untimely death, from losses, from losses, from calamity in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you will deliver us from untimely death. The Bible says with long life will you satisfy us and you will show us your salvation. We will not die before our time. We pray this morning 
everyone, oh God, that have a sentence of death over their life, by the power of the resurrection, we remove it now. In the name of Jesus, everyone marked for death, everyone having a sentence of death in the realm of the spirit over their life now, young and old, anyone, in the name of Jesus, by the resurrection power of Jesus, we erase it now, we remove it now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of losses, our life we will not suffer losses no loss of life no loss of life no loss of life no loss of property no loss of life no loss of property in the name of jesus there shall be no loss no loss of job no loss of good things we decree against losses no member of this house will suffer losses in the name of jesus wherever it is being orchestrated from now in the name of the lord we come against the power behind it we come against the spirit behind it they will not succeed in the name of jesus no calamity every negative experience lord by yourself god let it pass over us in the name of jesus there shall be no negativity all around our life, all around our destiny. In the love of our children, we will not suffer losses. In the love of our wife, no losses. In the love of husband, no losses. In the name of Jesus, all our close relatives, five relatives, we shall not suffer any loss. No loss of life. We will not call anyone for barrier. In the name of Jesus. Experiences in this season of Easter and beyond. Lord, by yourself, by your mercy, you will deliver every one of us. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Every agenda of darkness over your life, in the name of Jesus, it is hereby cancelled. Every program of evil over your life and your family, it is hereby cancelled in the name of Jesus. No death will occur in your house. No death will occur in your family. Nobody will mourn with you. Nobody will mourn with you. You will not suffer losses. Ah, anything that is giving you joy and fulfillment, it will not bring sorrow. In the name of Jesus, it will not bring sorrow. Troubles of life, calamity will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Now pray out of me and say, Oh God, everyone marked for evil. Mark for calamity in this house, home and abroad. We cancel it now. Agenda of darkness is cancelled now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The agenda of darkness over our love and family. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. It will not stand. It will not stand. It will not stand. It will not stand. By the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. It shall not stand. It shall not stand. We come against it everywhere it is orchestrated. From everywhere it is being engineered from in the name of the law, we start against it in the name of Jesus. We are body plan of the enemy, we are body cancer of the ungodly. It will not come to pass, it will not come to pass. The expectation of the enemy will not come to pass over our life, over our family, over the love of our children, home and abroad, wherever they are. Lord, the enemy will not succeed in the name of Jesus. They will not succeed, they will not succeed in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. I pray for you, your as a parent here. I speak in the name of the Lord. Your eyes will not see evil. Your eyes will not see evil. You will not shed tears. You will not cry. You will not die. In the name of the Lord, you will not cry. Ah, you are going to pray. Lift up your right hand and say, Oh God. Say, Oh God. May my eyes not see evil. May my eyes not see evil. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone present here, in the name of the Lord, our hearts will not see evil. Our hearts will not see evil. We will not experience evil. Evil shall not be our portion. In the name of Jesus, evil will not come near our dwelling. In the name of the Lord, evil shall not come near our homes. In the name of the Lord, every program of enemy to orchestrate evil over our life, we are bought it now. It will not succeed. It will not come to pass. Our hearts will not see evil. Our hearts will not see evil. In the name of Jesus, our hearts will not see evil. Oh God, do it, Lord. Repose by yourself. And we are praying. Pray after me now. Say every harrow, every harrow of untimely deaths, every harrow of losses, every harrow of calamity. 
back to the original source, back to sender now, back to sender, back to the original source. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, begin to declare, open your mouth and declare. It will not find the expression in your house. It will not find the expression in your family. As it is moving from one place to the other, over your family it will pass over you. Over your home it will pass over you. In the name of Jesus, every arrow of evil, arrow of calamity, arrow of troubles, arrow of losses, arrow of untimely death, oh, back to sender, back to sender. We speak to you now. Go back to the original source. In the name of the Lord, you will not find the expression in our lives and our family. In the name of Jesus, oh God, do it, Lord. Help us by your spirit and let your name be glorified. You know, we pray. Finally, you are going to pray. Say, oh God, in your mercy, preserve me and my family members and all that you have blessed me with. I preserve me, Lord. Preserve me. Please serve my family, my children, my family, my wife, my husband, everyone around me, connected to me, every member of this house, every member of this family, open a home and abroad. Lord, please serve us. Let your covenant of preservation, oh God, exemption from evil, let you come upon us now. Every one of us, in the name of Jesus, we will not die before our time. Our hearts will not see evil. We will not experience negative experiences. No, you will preserve us. And everything you have blessed us with. Not that we die in our hands. Not that we die in our home. In the name of Jesus. No loss of job. No loss of career. No loss of health. Every good thing we enjoy. There shall be no loss over them. Oh God, do it, Lord. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. It's a prayer. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. I appreciate him. He has done it. Beyond your prayer. Beyond our expectations, he has done it. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise this day. We bless your name. We worship you. Receive our gratitude. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's jam our hands together as we get seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Offering time. Offering time. Please, can we wave our hands to God as a wave offering unto the Lord? Say, God, thank you for your resurrection power. Thank you. It's your, it's your resurrection power that has brought me here. Thank you. Last week I was here. Last year I was here. Last month I was here. Thank you, God, for your gift. This praise. Hallelujah. We are going to give our offering this morning. And uh, before we do that, please let us look at the scripture. Very important. John chapter 12, verse 24. If you are there, please open to it and you will see it. John chapter 12, verse 24. And he said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a cone of wheat falls unto the ground and dies, it abided alone. Hallelujah. Except a corn of wheat, you know, is sown into the ground and dies, it abided alone. All of us know corn. When you take a seed of corn and you plant it in the ground, just one seed, it will die and it will germinate. And when it grows, it will bring up, you know, uh, branches. And then only one buck can give you 100 seeds. And the other buck can give you 100 hundred seed. Hallelujah. So, it's very important that we give unto the Lord wordfully. Give unto him that which you know is going to produce abundantly for you. And that's what we are going to do this resurrection day. Hallelujah. So, please package your offering and you will speak to that offering that is going to produce abundantly for you and so it's going to be. If you have done that, please rise up. And let us pray. Lift all that you're offering unto the Lord. I say, God, this is my seed. And if you have your tithes too, package it as well. We have channels where also you can pay your tithes online. Do that and God will bless you. Lift up your offering. Pray unto God concerning it. Bless your offering. Say, oh God, 
as I pay this offering to you, as I pay my title to you today, let it produce hundred fruits. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. Accept our offerings, O Lord. Let it be used to the glory of your name. Let it produce abundantly unto us. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Go back to you. I'm a swore the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my soul, I am. I got me, boy, hallelujah. I got my God, hallelujah. Hey, we bless Jesus every day. That's what we got to do, we have to bless Ah, 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 eh, eh, eh. So, let's get messy, so let's He has given me victory. He has given me victory. He has given me. Let's say hallelujah. 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 Let's say hallelujah. 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 Pillar of the world, searching for a miracle. I found no one. Hey, nobody like you, Jesus. I've been to many places. I found no one. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Want, we want to appreciate God this morning. I want to bless the name of the Lord. Uh, I, I was discussing my wife and she said she shared the testimony in the women program yesterday. But it does not matter. Because I saw what, you know, it's like a, a linkage effect. But, you know, God frustrated the cancel of the wicked. My nephew, uh, my niece, in June last year, you no, know, had an accident. She was coming, you no, know, from work. Just a few minutes to their house, she wanted to cross the road to climb the curb to go to the SD from the main road to the curb. It was around 8 p.m. A vehicle was coming and just clear because she she was backing the vehicle that was coming. So. The back, the back broke the left leg. This leg, I mean, broke. I saw where the leg was turning. I mean, it was turning. And she came to me, just, she was, now she's walking. So she came to me about 
uh, a month ago and said, Sir, I want to appreciate what God used you to do. And it's because, I mean, it was massive. Apart from the financial aspect, you know, mommy and daddy, they were out there work. I'm going to send a message. Uh, they are taking her to the theater. They are doing this and they were praying. So she saw what God did. And she told me, she said, she's coming to this house. This morning, that was a month ago, this money for the Thanksgiving. And I said, okay, we prepare for it. Because we, it's only in first week of June. I mean, in April, which is now March, Shoke April, which is this program that we, because she wanted to do it at the headquarters. So, about two weeks ago, she said, Sir, I've gone to my church and we are doing it. I don't think it's necessary again. I said, Okay, no problem. I mean, you are the one doing Thanksgiving, although I'm equally part of it. So, I just, you just take it like that. But on um, Friday morning, I just woke up. I have not done anything very early in the morning. There was something I wanted to do. And the Holy Spirit said, do it now. Now. And it was you no know, a divine assignment that I was supposed to do. And I did it very early in the morning. That, that was Friday morning. On Thursday, my son, is because of the leakage effect, I will have allowed him to come out and share it. But there are something he doesn't know. Because he doesn't know about his testimony. So, we... He, was, he went to Naibiji, the choir Naibiji on Thursday. He came from work, from there he said he's going. I said, I went. He said, no, I'm going. No, I told him, I'm going for Naibiji. I said, okay. And truly, by the time we came back from the parish, we did not meet him. He, has, he left. So, yesterday, I mean, on the, on the, that was, uh, to, yesterday was a Saturday. He was now telling, I mean, on Friday, he was now telling us, ah, Sir, if you see what happened to me, God saved me. He said, I was coming from the church. I was working on the cab. No, because she worked with her system. So, he was holding the system. A vehicle was revising, not this thing from the back, and hit him at the back. The same way they hit, and it hit him at the back, and the system fell off. And this thing. But thank God there was no, nothing. Nothing happened to him. By the time he did, I said, should we take you to the hospital? He said, nothing happened to me. The only thing is that, you know, the thing spoiled my sister. But thank God that he, can, he, he was able to repair it on his own. Hallelujah. But what I want to say there is, June, that's what happened to my niece. This <laughs> thing to April. But God frustrated the cancer. I know exactly what they wanted to do. Yeah. But God frustrated their cancer. Yeah. And I want to appreciate God this morning. I want to bless his mighty name. Praise you know, the Lord. Uh, prayer, you no, know, just like we pray this morning, when the servant of God is praying, we should pray on this and this. And I was told, my wife told me that, and mommy said, convert me this morning, that they have been praying on this, for this, even yesterday they pray on it. In this house, in our life, there shall be no evil in Jesus' mighty name. If not bury our children in Jesus' name, if not be buried in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to appreciate God this morning, and this God is marvelous in my heart. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Let's give our hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. We have prayed, we will continue to pray. There shall be no loss in this house in the mighty name of Jesus. And wherever evil is coming from, back to send us. Wherever the evil is coming from, back to send us. Please, sir, God will continue to preserve you and your family and your extended family. In the mighty name of any of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now, the church announcement. Let's listen to the church announcement. Our Easter Power Conference will start powerfully today. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? And the team is lifting the embargo. So any embargo in your life shall be lifted from today in the mighty name of Jesus. Those of us who watch the film, Good Friday, there was a big stone road across where Jesus was buried. And, and the angel of God came and rolled away the stone. In the same way, any embargo in your life, that is the same way it shall be rolled away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any embargo in our life shall be rolled away in this program. In the mighty name of Jesus. So please, take note, we are starting today. Sunday, but at 9 a.m. tomorrow, because tomorrow is a public holiday, 9 a.m. tomorrow, Monday, 
But on Tuesday, it's going to be 6 p.m. 6 p.m. on Tuesday. So please take note and get yourself ready that any embargo in my life shall be lifted away permanently in the mighty name of Jesus. That should be your wish as you are coming for this program. Lord, as I'm coming to your presence, any embargo in my life, let it be lifted permanently forever in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. I say so shall it be in Jesus' name. Now, Ministers and Workers Conference. This one is coming up on Saturday, 6th of April, at 10 a.m. Ministers and Workers Conference. It's coming up Saturday, 6th of April, at 10 a.m. They must be in attendance. All church workers, stewards must be in attendance. But not limited to all church stewards and workers. Any interested member of the congregation, please come and listen. You'll be blessed tremendously. And uh, our daddy in the Lord, our Bishop B.C. Bankole, will be ministering in that program. This is, uh, this is uh, the picture. So please come. All of you who have listened to our daddy, Bishop Bankole, here, you know he's a powerful man of God. So come and benefit from what he has to tell us. And God will bless us for it in the mighty name of Jesus. So take note that all church workers, all stewards, are required to be present. In addition, any church, interested church member, please come and be blessed. And God will bless us together in the mighty name of Jesus. My story must change prayer hour, host every Wednesday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. Every Wednesday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. So avail yourself the opportunity to be present. If you cannot, you can connect on the internet and listen to the prayers. They are blessing families. They are blessing all of us. And I pray you will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Then, March All Corpus Fellowship. March All Corpus Fellowship. Today, All Corpus Fellowship. Today, Corpus Fellowship will be special. It was 12 noon today. 12 noon. That is immediately after this service. Every couple is expected to be around, whether your partner is around or not. First quarter Thanksgiving. Glory be to God for sustaining us through the first quarter of this year. We give glory to God that He has sustained us through the first quarter of this year. Next week, Sunday, with a befitting thanksgiving to him, come in your best and with your best to appreciate God for all that he did for us this first quarter of the year. So when you are thanking God for his deeds, he will do more in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Then payment of tithe. Payment of tithe is biblical and it's an instrument to assess many divine blessings. Your tithe is 10% of your income. Those of us that are salary earners, this is mountain. So please take note and pay your tithe accordingly. And the rewards shall be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you don't have any envelope, ask the ushers. They will give you tithe envelope. If you don't have any envelope, ask the ushers. They will give you tithe envelope and pay it alongside your offering. So God will reward you accordingly for doing so. Can you say amen? Now there is a book here. They call it Book of the Month. Lifting the embargo. Lifting the embargo on your destiny. You may not know the embargo, the particular type of embargo. In the case of Jesus, it was a big stone they put to block him so that he would not come out of the grave. But the embargo was lifted. So any embargo on your life shall be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is a book you can buy and read and it will bless your soul. Lifting the embargo on your destiny. Because of our spiritual development, a lot of us may not know the embargo. We may not know. 
We are just working freely because God is preserving us. We don't know the embargo on our lives. But wherever the embargo is coming from, it shall be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. I will recommend that you please buy this book in the store. It's available in the bookstore. And go through it. It will bless your life and your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Now this is a special announcement from our daddy in the Lord. That every one of us should be conscious of the current heat that is heat everywhere. You should be conscious of that. In fact, many people wake up in the night to bath several times. Even with that, you will be sweating like a normal business. So because of that, Daddy has recommended that we drink enough water. Drink enough water as much as possible and stay where there is air, where you can get fresh air. And I pray no heat will consume our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I say no heat will consume our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as I was here this morning, I went out to drink water this morning. So may God grant us understanding in Jesus' name. Lastly, let us be a practitioner of the word so as to remain rapturable. The choir will please take us further into the service. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Is somebody glad to be in church this morning? Come on, shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. And we heard of any king who died and rose again. But my Jesus, your Jesus, went to the grave, rolled away the stone. Your victory. Somebody, can you jump to your feet and shout hallelujah? Is that how you will celebrate your victory? Somebody, can you jump up and shout hallelujah? Come on, let me hear you say, Oba ni Jesu. One more time, let me hear you say, Oba ni Jesu. The one who died and rose again. Glory. Come on, let's enjoy God together this morning. Let's enjoy God together wherever you are. You just need to put your body.
Can we lift up our hands to God? Father, we want to say thank you for today. Thank you for this Easter season. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for mercy that kept all of us. Thank you for your doings in our lives. Thank you for your help from time to time. Thank you for all you have done for us in the past. Thank you for what you are doing now. Thank you for what you will yet do. All glory will return to you. All glory will return to you. All glory will return to you. Blessed be your holy name. Forever, Lord, you remain our God. And forever, Lord, we will continue to appreciate you. Father, we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. And we are praying, Lord, today you will help us again. This Easter day, let something miraculous happen to someone here. Let the grace of that none of us will return home the same way we have come. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That as you will go, let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Let there be a turnaround. Let there be signs and wonder. Let there be miracle. Let there be a release of your power. Let everyone that say, Amen, hear Lord, have an encounter they will remember. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can I hear someone shout the loudest amen? amen? To everyone I say happy Easter. May the Lord keep you and may the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. you can have your seat. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. What a privilege to be alive in time like this. And what a privilege for all of us to witness yet another Easter. We are grateful. To God. Like I always say, don't take there are many that wish to be alive that are gone. They are no more. Beside the fact that um, you may have money, you may have all kind of things, you still need God to be alive. So always be grateful to God. I'm aware that Hallelujah. 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 I repeat, Hallelujah. You are blessed. If you will say, everyone that is saying, Amen, you are blessed. By the Spirit of God, I said again, you are blessed. If you will say, Amen, Lord, you are blessed. I speak in the name of Jesus, you are blessed. I'm aware that on Friday we have film show and crusade somewhere around us here and I want to appreciate everyone that are part of that meeting the Lord bless every one of you all those who plan, all those who support all those who sponsor and those who are there grace will never depart from you you will never miss a place you will never miss a reward as a church please know that's one of the things you must always identify with it's not just good enough coming around to receive and receive blessing when we have the opportunity to do anything for the kingdom, for God, especially winning so, the part of it, very, very important. And I see God changing your story for good in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, by the grace of God, we are not just enjoying and receiving blessings of our Easter Park Conference, and we are having as our team lifting the hem bagu. I lift up my hands to God. To the man and the woman whose amen we turned that. I have just a few minutes to spend this morning because our time has already fast spent and there is it everywhere. Wisdom is an asset. 
So, mercy, mercy, these few minutes I have to stand with you. Lift up your hand. Under God as your amen thunder, I go on my knees to pray before he that I've been staying for days. As you say amen, no embargo will stop your destiny. No embargo will stop your joy. No embargo will stop your marriage. No embargo will stop your breakthrough. No embargo will stop your fulfillment. No embargo will stop your visa. No embargo will stop your healing. No embargo will stop your miracle. No embargo will stop your project. If your amen will be louder than your neighbor's amen, there will be no embargo that will stop you. I pray that day, no embargo will stop you. We break the yoke today. I break the yoke today. I break the yoke today. If your amen will be louder, I break the yoke today. Let me hear that amen loud three times. Hallelujah. Have your seat. For this morning, briefly, can you turn your Bible with me to the book of Matthew chapter number 27? Matthew 27. Like all of us, we need to get as a family, so we have to be fast, just flow with us. As we take from verse number 26 to 31, then we skip some verses and we trust the Holy Spirit. Now, Matthew 27, we are reading from verse number 26 to verse number 31. I would prefer you just read from your own Bible so that we save time. Everybody want to go. Then released he Barnabas unto them, and when he has summoned Scott Jesus, he did the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole bond of soldier. And they stripped him and put him on a scarlet robe. And when they had planted a corn of thorns, they put it upon his head, and he read in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King Jesus, Jew of Jew, verse 31. And they spit upon him and to the reed and smote him on the head. Verse 31. And after that, they had mocked him. They took the rope off him from him and he put his on his own women on him and led him away to be crucified. Let's keep some verses. Let's just go to verse number 50. We read from verse 50 down so that God will help us. Everybody want to go. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And before the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the bottom to the bottom. And they had the quake and the rock rain. And the graves were whole. slept and rose. And came out of the grave after the resurrection. And went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Now, when the centurion and they that were with him, watching Jesus, saw the earthquake and those things that were done. They feared greatly, saying, truly, this was the Son of God. And many women were there, beholding after her, which followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among which was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James, and Joseph, and Mary, mother of Zebedee, children. Verse 57, loud brethren, when the heaven was come there, came a rich man of Arimathea, named Joseph, who also was Jesus' disciples. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. The Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. When Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door. There was Mary, Mangalene, and the other Mary, sitting over again the sepulchre. Now the next day that followed the day of preparation, the sheep
Magdalene and the other Mary to the sepulchre. For the law, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled by the stone from the door and sat upon it. His continent was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keeper did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto them, Women, fear ye not, for I know that you see Jesus, which was crucified. Verse 6, everybody loud, he is not here, for he is written, as he has said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Let me, you're here for the few minutes we have. Everything about Easter revolves around the bath, the ministry, the death, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. At a point, as Jesus began the ministry, some fellow became uncomfortable. And they felt the only thing they can do is to crucify him. And then, there was accusation against him. And thereafter, they judged him. And then was sentenced to death to be crucified. Of course, truly was crucified, killed. One, when Joseph of Arimathea buried the law in the tomb that he prepared for himself, he put a stone there. Have access to the place, but if you get that's two. This time around, now they prepare their home. I'm quoting from your Bible. That's why you must be a reader of the Bible. They prepare their home and they seal it up. In the first instance, it just for protection. This one is to prevent him from coming. He is to say, no, this man try to do so. What a world. What kind of hatred? What kind of conspiracy? What a plan to stop the program of God. In the name of the law. If they can do that against the law, hear me out, I'm here on a mission. They can do it to anybody. But just hear the last to say amen. Every conspiracy against you will never stand. Amen. I've started my assignment here. Eh? Any conspiracy against you will never stand. Huh? Any conspiracy against your business will never stand. Any conspiracy against your job will never stand. If you will say that amen, love it will never stand. All those who are behind it may God put them to shame. Let me hear that amen loud. Amen. Hallelujah. So they roll the stone and they seal it. Verse 66. You can read all this one at all. And then they appointed a watchman, like an army or soldier, whoever. You stand here. If for any reason you see anybody coming around, kill them. And if by mistake you hear noise from inside the grave, like somebody wants to come out or so. Kill the fellow. Hmm. Oluwa help me. Talo so pe mi o ni gbori soke. Talo ni mi o ni jade. Talo so pe rawo mi o ni tan. Who said I will not rise? Who said I will not shine? Who said my star will not rise? Talo binu. Who? Kara kosa. So bad did they do if you can stand up? As your amen turn, I release fire against them. If by now you don't know why you are here, you're on your home. I release fire against them. I'm not sure if I can teach again. This is the message. Jesus, oh, we don't care. We kill you. But even your corpse, we are against your corpse. Look up. Believe it or not, there are people even if you are dying, they will still want to do something on your burial. Yeah. 
I want to the enemy of the highest order. Be aware, it's okay. If they can do it against the law, let your brain be here now. Because some of us, we don't take things serious as we do. We should do. I decree, wherever, whoever, Father, as they are planning in, let fire. They want you to cry, they will cry your cry. They want you to they want you to lose your job, your business. They are one is one that we lost. They don't want you to see joy. You will 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 see joy. If you will say amen, you will see joy. Look up. Ever from the foundation of the world, there is original counsel. I hope I'll be able to get it here. If not, I'll get it another day. That Jesus will eventually come when man fell. And Jesus will die for the sin of the world, but that Jesus will resurrect. That is God's arrangement. But some people say, even God's arrangement, yo, will not allow it. I'm reading your December, we are reading. It said, do whatever you want to do. So get a stone. Give me verse 56 on the screen. Put it on it. Seal it up. Then appoint soldier. Let them stay there. This is the meaning. Jesus, you will never come out. Who says I will not come out? Who says my blessing will not come out? Who says my glory will not come out? Who says my children will not come out? Who says my pregnancy? Who, 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 who? I say 66. Who says so? Lift up your right hand. Just give me a few minutes. I will release you this morning. Just catch the grace and catch the power and catch the auction. I pray through the night and God give me assurance that this is the time. Remember, today is the last day of March. Is that correct? In the next few minutes, we'll be closing, we'll be entering another month. So it's not the you that you are handy that we enter another month. That is for one of us here. It will not be for everybody. I speak under God. If your aim is thunder, that yoke is broken now. That affliction end now. That delay end now. That attack end now. That arrow return to sender. Your breath will fall. Your glory will break fall. Your honor will break fall. No more sorrow for you. No more shame for you. No more poverty for you. No more delay for you. If you will say amen, you are breaking fall. Can we start from 65? 65. Whoever is in that place, please walk with me. I'm begging you. Can we read together? I want to go. Pilate said unto them, You have a wash. Go your way. Make it as what? As you can. Don't get me involved in that again. Go and do it yourself. So, next verse. So, can we read? They do what? And they did what? Another day I will come to that. How to make it sure? Sealing it with what? Everywhere covered. I don't know how they how do how do you seal something? You tie it. But in wherever you run, you won't come. I'm coming. My glory is coming. My season has come. My joy has come. My honor has come. My glory has come. My breakthrough has come. I will not be where I used to be again. I am coming. I am changing level. I am changing position. I am changing status. I am coming. I am changing level. I am changing position. I am coming. If you are here, you better begin to prophesy. I am coming. I am changing level. I am changing position. My status is changing. My level is changing. Everything around me from today receive the anointing for resurrection. Make it as sure as you can and set what? A wash on it. In other words, appoint security people, soldier, army, fire brigade, whoever, stay there. Have your seat. That stone that they put there that day is not just a stone, it's a barrier, a hindrance. I'm not secure. Let me put it direct. In the spirit of our message for this season, is an embargo. 
permit me briefly to share a few other things about this season and about what happened and I'll conclude with the story with the embargo thing. One, because this is an Easter season, I need to bring a few other things Then we now down the embargo. Number one thing you need to learn about this story of Easter is this. In all things, only the counsel of God will stand. In all things, not some things. Only the counsel of God will stand. I repeat, if you will say amen, in if that amen will be loud, only, only the counsel of God will stand concerning your family, only the counsel of God will stand concerning your business, only the counsel of God will stand concerning your marriage, only the counsel of God will stand concerning your future. If you will say amen, only the counsel of God will stand. And I have enough assurance in the Holy Ghost and understanding from the scripture that the counsel of God for you is a good one. He said, I know the tour that I think towards you. So take note, therefore, God is a master planner. Everything about death of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, was planned by God. That's why the devil lost it. That's why he missed it. God is a master planner. He knows how to plan things from the beginning to the end. You may not know where it went, but God has all the picture under his hand. He's a master planner. And I want to assure somebody here today, God has a plan for you. I say God has a plan for you. It doesn't matter what you are going through. God still has a plan for you. God has a plan for your family. God has a plan for your future. God has a plan for your marriage. Everyone who is saying amen, God you, that plan will not be defeated. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Number two, the second thing I want you to take note today is this. Life is full of traitors and wicked people. Life is full of traitors and wicked people. Learn that about Christmas, I mean about, about Easter. Life is full of traitors and wicked people. This is the message. Who could have thought? Lord help me. How will you imagine it? That one of those, God have mercy, who were eating with Jesus, drinking with Jesus, sleeping with Jesus, going out with Jesus, coming in with Jesus, have access to everything that Jesus, as a matter of fact, one of the executives of Jesus, as a matter of fact, in charge of the money that we betrayed the Lord. Be careful who you trust. Oh God, prof, how do you people say? They say Inuji. Can you mean in Inuji? Huh? The stomach is deep. Look up, everybody. Don't judge, assess people, appraise people, approve people by sight alone. What you see outside can be deceitful. I'm being blunt, no apology. A man, a woman, a friend, a colleague, a partner, a neighbor, whatever, can be eating and drinking and say, it's a good morning, it's a good morning, man. How are you, man? How are you, sir? Sometimes even you help them, you give their children money, you do this, and inside of them, all it just happened to him now. Lift up your hand. If you like, you can join me to pray. If you are too holy, you can't. Anyone, anyone around my life, anyone, anyone from anywhere, anyone. that have evil intention, evil plan, evil counsel against my life, against my destiny, against my family, against my job, against my destiny, against my career, against our ministry. Oh God, by yourself, expose them. Frustrate them, turn against them. I repeat, no apology. Even my mama, I will pray the same prayer. Have your seat. If you are too, the heart of me is what desperately wicked. Only God knows. You read the paper every day. That you saw the cow come. That's life. Mm -hmm. 
now go and meet whoever they met and they say if only you can bring the head of your mother or your father and the fellow will come back home and give the father and the mother something to drink and cut up the hair but that will be a sin the father will give i mean there are things that you read now so crazy you will just be asking where is conscience one of those i was asking to look where is conscience is conscience conscience dead long time ago we live in a world where people can sell anybody for anything I want to beg everybody here, don't sell those who trust you because of money. I'm begging everybody here, don't betray those who rely on you. Don't betray those who have helped you. Jesus, help Jesus, Judas, but Judas never remember. Everyone that have played one good role or the other in your life to help you to where you are, treat them well. If you can't treat them well, don't do it against them. That in the past, they used to give you something, but now they can't give you again. Maybe they have their own problem. Maybe they have their issue. That is not the reason why you now wanted them to die. What's the problem? If they have not helped you, you will not get away. But I'm not the truth. That many of us will easily forget helpers. We forget those who have been there for all. We forget those who help us. We just don't remember. Any little thing we turn our back. Hey, it's a seed. It's a seed. And every seed we attract. The necessary result, except by the mercy of the law. You remember the story of this man in the scripture? It was in now. What is his name? Number. The Bible recorded one day while David was going through his challenges. And there's life is like that. People have challenges in life. Things are hard. It was in the wilderness there yeah, because King Saul was pursuing everywhere. And one day David woke up, no food to eat, nothing to drink. So he called his servants together. He said, We cannot just be washing, we need to eat and drink. So what can we do? He said, but by the way, there's a man around us here. They call his number. We've been helping him. We don't allow the enemy to come to his, I mean, to his farm. We don't allow the people to drop his... I mean. Go and read the story. He said, please beg him that you, that God has blessed your animals or your servants so just give us little food to eat so that hunger will not kill us. If Naba had to pay for the service of David, he would pay so much more. So they came and told Naba. And you know what Naba said? Who is David? When some people talk, sometimes you ask yourself a question. Where can he kill? Who is he? Kill for me now. What did he give me? Is he not just ordinary 10,000 naira? May you not say things like that before me. I know what I'm saying. You say ordinary 10,000 naira? Till Jesus come and say, God appeared to me. One naira won't give you. Just give them your head. They won't appreciate it. It's a seed. It's a seed from the pit of hell. Say, what is it that he has done for me? Come on. Be grateful. Don't treat people the wrong way. At a point in your life, if some people fail to do what they did, maybe you'll be gone by now. Wickedness. Some people easily to you, don't be one of them. So he said, who is David? That one that was one day, no, no, forget him. I don't have anything to give him. So they came back empty. And when David heard it, that anointing came upon him. So, so this man, because I sent to bear beg him, and David vowed, he said, today, if there's anyone that will remain in that house, it's by mercy, I will make sure I remove everybody's head. Summon his soldier, and you are ready to go. And I will show you, God will support them. But then there was a wise woman in the house. Let me beg everybody, be the wise wife. Be the wise husband. Be the wise church member. Be the wise person in that unit. Be the wise minister. Everybody may be fully. You should be wise. She got up. When she had the soul, she said, you mean that? That's what my husband did? There are places you don't play love. Stop this nonsense. Otherwise, both of you will go together like Ananiah and Sapphira. There are places, let your brain, your spirit, the only go walking, you say, no, no, no. Something is wrong. She got up. She called his own, her own servant and said, get me food. Get, get. She prepared everything. And she ran to meet David. David was on the way, angry, bitter, ready to fight. He said, my king, went on her knees, don't do it. I know him. You don't know his name? His name is Naba. David, I'm sorry to teach you. Naba means foolishness. That guy, leave him. He, she called it the way what? He said, don't, don't, Esa, don't kill anybody. Everybody know you are going to become the king. Don't let this one become a stain. You want food? I brought one that enough, sir. For you and your servant, sir. I beg, sir. 
and thank God for the David, the man of wisdom. He said, Kai, it's only God that sent you. He said, no, because I showed up, I know what I will do. But that's okay. I hear you. And she turned back. He turned back. David returned on his people. What happened next? The Bible said Naba was whatever he drank or whatever. The following morning, they told him what that happened yesterday. That you said it, you said it to David. He said, which one? He said, the same David. The Bible said his heart smote him. Go back and read your Bible very well and go kill him. There's a message here. There are people that if they do you good and you decide to pay them in the wrong way, they may not hurt. But what if God decides to hurt? Somebody lift up your hand. Let me ask for mercy. If there's any of us, Lord, who because of carelessness, because of bitterness, because of ignorance, because of rebellion, we've turned again those who have used to help us, we ask for mercy. Amen. Let me hear you, amen. We ask for mercy. Amen. Why can't you say amen? We ask for mercy. Amen. Let me hear you, amen. One more time, we ask for mercy. Amen. Let me hear you, amen, for the last time, we ask for mercy. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Second point, I said, in life, there are traitors and wicked people. Make sure you are not one of them. Number three, in life, there are some individuals who are assets to the kingdom of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In life, there are people, some individuals who are assets to the kingdom of God and to you and I should belong. That is where we must stay. That who are relevant. You want the kingdom of God together. Another day, I'll be sharing with you the story of the two J's. But let me leave that for today. Who betrayed the Lord Jesus? Talk to me now. Who betrayed Jesus? Now, who provided it? One, a one, an enemy, the other one, a friend, one, an agent of hell, the other one, an agent of God. Who are you? Make up your mind. The Bible said the moment they killed Jesus, nowhere to bury him. Well, I let him just die there. Joseph of Arimathea had about a very rich man. Well, the man, he heard about it, and because of his influence, he said, I'm not ashamed. So he went to King Pilate. I'm sorry, sir. I know they've killed him, and I'm ashamed to let you know I'm one of his disciples. By virtue of at level he was operating, Pilate cannot say, shut up your mouth, because he knew that Pilate knew that he doesn't need anything from me. So I want his body. And Pilate said, that's okay, go and carry it. So the Bible says, when carry the body of the Lord, and now go back and read your Bible. The Bible says, and he went now to the tomb that he prepared for himself. The Bible called it new. And then there they buried the law. There are people you need in life. There are people you can count on. If you close your eyes, you can count on them. Look up, church. I'll be blunt with you. See you. Once you are no longer there, forget it. They've forgotten you. But not Joseph of Arimathea. Even in death, he said, I'm one of his people. And I want to carry his body. May God make you and I responsible. Amen. We will not just be Christian that have no value. May God add value to our lives. May God make ourselves also valuable. If you will say, Amen, receive that grace now. I say, receive that grace now. Where you are lift up and say, Father, make me valuable to your kingdom and to my generation. Say it again, Father, make me valuable to your kingdom and to your generation. Say it again, say, Father, make me valuable to your kingdom and to your generation. Like I said, two J's. That's on your feet in a minute. I was around up, don't worry. The Holy Ghost is working. This are you. I'm the one that gave you the instruction. And if anybody doesn't matter them, I'm the one that instructed them. If you get angry with them, I'm the one you're getting angry with. And that's an error. Don't do it. You walk to five people. You say, with all respect, sir, I'm under instruction. Are you a Joseph? Or are you a Judas? Go ahead and tell them. With all respect, sir. 
I'm under instruction. No. They may call, don't hate me. Oh. Don't get angry with me. Oh. <laughs> are you a Joseph? Or are you a Judas? Are you a Joseph? Are you a Judas? Are you a Joseph? Are you a Judas? Are you a Joseph? Are you a Judas? Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Look up here in a minute. Turn to your neighbor. Say neighbor. Remember I beg you at the hour. Don't get angry with me. <laughs> I'm only obeying instruction from our daddy in the Lord. And you know it's a so I'm only asking what he asked me to ask. May the spirit of Judah whenever you find yourself, may you be a Joseph. If I will hear your hear again, may you be a Joseph. The Joseph serve those who will not allow the work of you can trust, you can rely on. Keep on happening. Joseph are those who are proud of their church, they are proud of their pastor, they are proud of the kingdom of God. Those are the Josephs. Amen. May God raise for more Josephs. Everybody say, Amen. May God raise for more Josephs. The Bible calling Joseph on the matter. Bless and he use the blessing. For the kingdom. In one minute, let me just say this, if only to help some of us. Talk to me. I say yes or no. Let for me, this service should have ended before now. I'll call our pastor in charge of program and say, why all this delay? I don't like it. I told him. Why? Because of the heat. Two, because we have some other thing we want to do. But on the other hand, I was asking myself, what's the problem? We have one bigger generator here. 200 kVA. That can power all our AC. The one we are using now can't power it. But we are the one that can power it. Why come are we not using it? The AC is idea. Nothing stops us on Sunday service like this to put on the AC, maybe from 7 o'clock. By the time you are coming in, everywhere, until we finish, you won't feel any heat at all. But there's something that is delaying it. What? That thing. The generator is there. The AC is there. We need that thing. When there is a Joseph, they don't need me to talk. They will call the people say, why, why, why are we not using that thing? What's the problem? What can we do? This is it. God will take care. I will supply. Let me say to everybody here, we are blessed. Let me pray for the real blessing. You see me, I'm sweating now. I don't want it. In the name of the law. One Joseph law. One Joseph. And that doesn't mean necessarily Mike could be a woman. Who will be taking care of things and will take sweat off everybody. In this ministry, Father, raise that Joseph for us. Either in Nigeria or overseas, Holy Ghost, raise that Joseph for us. Either here or elsewhere, Holy God, raise that Joseph for us. Somebody will say, in Amen, either a man, a woman, younger boy, may you become that Joseph. May God bless you. May God prosper you. May God enlarge you. May God bless you. May God prosper you. May God enlarge you. And as the Lord bless you, may you not forget God. Lift and say, Father, I receive grace to be that Joseph. Bless you, have your seat. Finally, number four. There are people who will do everything to put, place embargo on your way. They will do everything to place embargo on your way. Just like it happened to the Lord Jesus. There are people who do everything to place embargo on your way. But this is the word of the law. They will be frustrated. Why can't you say amen? They will be frustrated. Let me say amen. They will be frustrated. Let me hear you say amen. They will be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, they will be frustrated. Somebody is saying amen yet no embargo will stop you. If I will hear you amen again, no embargo will frustrate you. Those people made the Holy Ghost frustrate them. If they go one way, they will fall seven ways. If they are planning it, it will consume them. If you will say, Amen, they will never succeed in your life. So, they arrange it, they plan it, they execute it. They place them back on the way of the Lord. Tomorrow and subsequent days, we'll be dealing with diversities of Embago. 
Because they are deep, and I can't go into that now. The so called family house embargo. The so called financial embargo. The so called spiritual embargo. All kind. I have them all there in my note. I mean, deep that we need to identify one by one. And how will you know which one is operating in your life? But in conclusion for this morning, what are some of the signs that will show that there's an embargo somewhere? And you need to arise and deal with it. One, operating in a circle. Operating in what? I say operating in what? I say operating in what? In circle. Just operating in circle. A step forward, two step backward. A step forward, two step backward. A step forward, two step backward. A step forward, always in circle. Nothing really is moving. In the name of the Lord, somebody will say amen three times. You are breaking out of that circle now. Hear yeah, the word of God. All your hearing is saying, God, let it be so. I'm doing deliverance already. I don't have time this afternoon to begin to cast out. I'm already doing it. Again, I prophesy. Anyone who will jump on their feet. You're breaking that circle now. Which I must say, any circle in my life, in my family, my finance, my big project, my marriage, my breakthrough. Today, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, say, break by fire. Now look up in a minute. I may not go all that thing, no problem. When a circle break, what happens? You move out of it. Is that not so? I permit you now in the next one minute. With your mouth, let your prophecy declare it. So by the grace of God, I move out of that circle. I move out of that circle. That circle of shame. That circle of affliction. That circle of poverty. That circle of retrogression. That circle of emptiness. That circle of loneliness. In the name of I broke out of it. That circle of bad news. That circle of fear. That circle of nightmare. Bad dream. I break it now. I break that circle. I break that circle in the name of Jesus. I break the circle of unfulfillment. I break the circle of sorrow. I break the circle of shame. Aragada. I break the circle. I come out of the circle. I break the circle. I come out of the circle in the name of Jesus. I break the circle. If you say amen. I break that circle now. I say I break that circle now. You are coming out of it 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 now. If you say amen more than your neighbor, you are coming out of it now. Have you see just one more and I'm true. Another sign is doing everything and not little nothing to show. It's a sign that there's an embargo somewhere. I will only stop with those two for today. We'll continue tomorrow morning. It's a sign that's an doing everything humanly possible, yet no result. Everything that can be done, yet nothing is happening. Nothing is changing. It's a pointer. There may be an embargo somewhere. That's why the effort is not yielding result. But that's said the Lord, because we're in a season of Easter. Because that's why we gather. And because you serve the Lord that cannot be stopped from this day, that experience stops in your life. I believe God with one of you, after this meeting now, by the time you live here, by the time you resume your office on, on Tuesday, you will just discover that what has not been working now begins to work. On all matter where there will be stagnation and delay, everything will be out of the way. On those report, application, proposal, that nothing good has come out of it, you will receive. April will be a better month. April will be a great month. One of you saying to me, it's a month of good news. Another person saying to me, it's a month of laughter. Another saying to me, it's a month of moving forward. Another saying to me, it's a month of new things. Another saying to me, it's a month of surprises. Hey, I just hear now somebody say, God said, I will compensate you. Holy Ghost, I don't know who that fellow is. I believe God. He said, I will compensate you. I will compensate you. I will compensate you for your shame that will be double. For your shame that will be double. For your shame that will be double. I will compensate you. I will compensate you. I will compensate you. I will give you more than what you are expecting. 
I will give you more than what you apply for. I will give you more than what you are prayed for. If you will say that, amen, I will receive that grace. Everybody that's on your feet, I'm true. As you stand, I want to pray for you. Like I said, we don't have time to go into many teachings now. If the embargo will be broken, if the story will change, take note of all those cautions and warnings I gave you. But beyond that, take note of the following three things as you are standing. I will just mention I can preach it now. One, cry to God for intervention. Do what? Anywhere, any day, it doesn't matter the situation. Cry to God for intervention. Everybody need that. Be quick to cry. Don't wait until it gets worse. Now start crying to God for intervention. Number two, block all loopholes. You don't want to overcome embargo, block loopholes. There are loopholes. What the devil capitalizes on. What the devil uses. The thing is see and he use them to create embargo for people. Block those embargoes. I mean, block all those loopholes. Maybe you are not faithful to God. Be faithful now. It's not because of anybody. It's for your destiny. You are not a tighter. Pay your tight. Nobody need it. It's for your destiny. You don't have to do anything for God. Begin to do something for God. It's for your destiny. You are proud, arrogant, stubborn. Nobody can talk. Character can become an embargo. Talk to me, Shosh. I say character can become an embargo. You are proud, you are arrogant, you are stubborn, you don't listen, you don't hear, you don't, nothing, no, you don't wrap yourself with anybody. Boy, Ogumburu Kuni is an embargo already. Doesn't matter who you are, there are things that can't work that way. These are loopholes, block it. Block them. Unfaithfulness and embargo, stop it. Be faithful to God. You are not dealing with any man, you are dealing with God. Your pastor is also dealing with God. You also are dealing with God. Be faithful, be faithful. All this satanic suggestion that somebody is eating your money, somebody is asking, oh my God, foolishness. The question we need to have which money? Be faithful to God between you and God. Is what? Is what? I was packaging my offering this morning. I know what I should give, and I know what I give as my offering. But they just occurred to me, boy, this is Easter day. This is Easter. This is Easter. But you give the same thing on Easter. I say, it's true. If Jesus have not died for me, if Jesus did not say, where will I be? So let me do something more. What? It's none of your business. Attitude. Love God, serve God, be committed to service. You are not doing because of anybody. Forget about people. For God, for God, for God. Not even for church. For God, for God. That's how to do it. And finally, engage in prayers. Warfare. I only take three prayer points for today. Thank God we have a whole month to deal with this subject. So these three, I will lead you now. And I'm true. Engage in warfare prayers. Be a man of prayer. Be a man of prayer. Be a man of prayer. Be a man of... You, there's nothing you got. Just get yourself committed to prayer. This Easter season now, you have holidays. Spend time to pray. If you will be not be allowed to pray, well, at home, come to the church and pray. If you just create time and sit with God, so Lua, it's only you. And it will arise. Am I talking to anybody here? So three prayer points we are taking. We have just about three, four minutes to do this. Please, don't look at anybody. Just let God deal with you. Are you ready? I say, are you ready? This is a warfare church, so please learn it. If you don't learn it, learn it now. You can learn it also. Say, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I shall tell you about. Say it again, in the name of Jesus. Embargoes in my life, on my way, today. Cash fire, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire. Go ahead as we begin to pray in the name of the Lord. Embargoes on my way. Embargoes in my life. In the name of Jesus. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Any embargo on my life. In my way. In the name of Jesus. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Raga da 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 da. Raga da 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 da. Rege de ge de ge de. Any embargo on my way in my life in the name of Jesus. I break that yo. I break that yo. I break that yo. Embargo, cash fire. Embargo, cash fire. Embargo, cash fire. Embargo, cash fire. 
In Jesus mighty name we are praying. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Look up. There are people and there are power that sponsor embargo. So you cry. Say in the name of Jesus. Any power, any personality sponsoring embargo in my life, in my family, concerning my business, my job, my marriage, my progress, my destiny. Today, be exposed and frustrated. Be exposed and frustrated. Can you go ahead as we begin to pray in the name of the Lord? Any power sponsoring embargo. My family in the ministry, in the name of Jesus, be exposed now. Catch fire now. Be exposed now. Catch fire now. Be exposed now. Catch fire now. Power sponsoring embargo in my life, in my family, in ministry. I come against you. 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 Catch fire today. Power sponsoring embargo. I come against you. Pass, pass on your I come against you. Pass, pass on your I come against you. Powers, sponsor the embargo. I come against you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. And finally, you will pray. Say, in the name of Jesus, whatsoever I have suffered, I have lost because of embargo, today, by fire, by mercy, I recover them. Whatsoever I have suffered, I have lost because of embargo. Today, by fire, by mercy, I recover them. Go ahead as you begin to pray. I recover. I recover them. I recover them. Anything I've suffered, anything I've lost because of embargo. In the name of Jesus, I recover, I recover, I recover, I recover favor, I recover blessing, I recover progress, I recover joy, I recover lifting, I recover abundance, I recover them, I restore them now, I recover them back, I recover them, I take them back, I recover them, I take them back, I recover them, I take them back, I recover them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. Hold somebody by hand. That's the last thing we're doing. Hmm. Hmm. Prophet Sai, say in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. By his mercy, that embargo leave you today. Go ahead and pray for that fellow. Make a back in the village. Marakatayaba. Make a set ya. Makata Yabaya Eka Sete I would eat call. Oh, eating shit. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Because of my time, I will call these five cases together. Listen to the instruction, please, I beg you. I do not want anyone to come out until I'm through with the five of them. Why? It's none of your business. So after through with the five, all those who know that is their case, just come. And I pray for you at the same time. Number one. There's somebody here, you saw yourself eating shit. You don't jail, 
or you will find yourself all around you. That's where you always find yourself. Number two, you know, this one is not a dream, that somebody plays a course or a spell on you. Let me put it in native language, my, my native language, one more gig for me. How do they say that? Prof, they put something on that fellow. And until that spell is removed, forget it. That is the second one. Number three. This is what always happens. Somehow, somehow, when people are about to help you to get anything, especially either money or something, and everything looks as if, no, this one is done. You are too sure. Last seconds or last minute, they change their mind. It won't work again. Why? You don't know. There will be just something, Sha. And that's it. Everything. Back to square one. That's the third category. Number four. Remember, one of those days, we are here for um, my story machine prayer, Hawa, and that's why you must not miss it also your meeting. I saw a plane that should be flying in the sky was, I mean, the plane was moving like a car on the ground instead of flying in the sky. And normally, when plane is flying up there, I mean, nothing in there, no house. But this one now, because it had to move on the road, there are all kinds of things, and the fellow is not moving. Instead of flight, it's a plane where the thing is moving down. Hey, that's a strong one. I can't define it now. And finally, number five. In the last two, three days, I bear witness, God is a witness. One, two, three times, God kept showing me something. You are here, you have the fear of death. You have been having dream of death. You always see yourself in the midst of people who are dead. Either they are giving instruction, or they are doing something with you, or saying something to you. They are always dead people. Cases come out together now. The worst embargo is for you to be too big to open up that this is me, God. It won't come down from heaven. It's intentional, I say, I will call all the all. You don't ask me why. It's none of a business. Because I know even in church, there are people who mind their business. Hey, so that is the one doing something. What is your problem? Mind your problem. Mind your own focus. So that's why I have to call everybody, and there's nothing. Ah, oh Lord, help me. All of you look up here. Do you believe that God answers prayers? Thank you. Do you believe that God can break the yoke? Do you believe that God does not change? Do you believe that your case is not too big for God? Thank you. If I have my way as a pastor and one calling to deliver a ministry, I'll be laying on and everyone one by one and I'll be dealing one by one. But we won't live here in simple prayer. Is that clear? I believe God. There are things I can't tell you now. He assured me and put an end to it now. I know what I know. He assured me this is it. There are some people here after this day they will never see it again. Amen. There are people hearing me now. The end has come to that travail. End has come to that shame. End has come to that affliction. In affliction, end has come to it. End has come to that reproach. It will not be your story again. If it is an arrow, the arrow is going back to where it's coming from. If there are power behind it, they will be the one that will carry it. If you will say the Lord, they may receive it now. Join me to say this prayer. If Holy Ghost allowed, don't thank God there will be public holiday tomorrow. Just brief ministration tomorrow. There will be more time to minister to. Those of you who are here now, I trust the Lord will remind me again. I have enough time to deal with you. But for now, just agree with me. Say, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for today. Nobody knows me like you. Nobody knows my situation like you. And unto you, I have come today. Oh God. In this covenant month of mercy, have mercy on me. 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 Whatsoever is the root cause of this problem, of this yoke, of this embargo in my life. Today, oh God, give me your victory. Give me.
the victory. Let the power that raised Jesus from the dead come upon me now. Let the power that raised Jesus from the grave come upon me now. Oh God, give me your victory. Put your hand on your head. Holy Ghost is I transfer power of God from this altar. I speak into your destiny. I speak into your life. I speak into your soul. I speak into your spirit. I speak concerning everything about you. As your amen thunder. The moment we share the grace, one of the pastors will be here, another one will be there. Get yourself to the place. Dip your hand in your oil. Anoint your head by yourself. If you can find your way to anywhere on the altar, just say, God, I'm not going no You're not doing what? Pray and find your way. Because of that, we have to do, we extend by 15 minutes couples fellowship. Couples fellowship will start by quarter after 12. And I want to beg all couples, make sure you're part of it. It's, it's life. This is a special one. You need it. Don't say you know everything that many things happen before you now begin to learn. We trust the Holy Spirit. Every area of our life we are going to repair. There's public holiday. Do yourself a favor. Be here. On Tuesday, it will be evening. And we all here together. And don't forget tomorrow also is the first day of the month. So you need prophecy over your life. Prophecy will work for you. Eternal Lord, I thank you. You are the one that can deliver the people, not me. You are the one that can heal, not me. You are the one that can set free, not me. You are the one that can change life, not me. I'm just a vessel. Let fire enter this oil. As your children dip their hand and anoint themselves, let there be a miracle. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Whatever the enemy have done, I cancel it now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me hear your amen. One of you stay there, one of you come there. Now listen, we need wisdom. What do I say now? I don't... People on the altar, and... Let's use wisdom so that we don't delay people. 
just 30 seconds. Just, Lord, I connect myself. can come and use the place. You can come back and do that. I bless you. Is not be caught. Shut up. Outbreak. I reboot this rock kidnappers. I reboot that spirit that made people weep. In the name of the Lord, everyone will say, Hey, man, there will be no emergency. I cover your going, your coming with the blood of Jesus. May God. Thank your life. We pray. Let me hear your loud hear. You say this also. Please look up. I'm not ashamed to ask for help when I need help. And in case you are thinking of money, I'm not asking for money, please. By nature, by training, by my practice, I love things to be done excellently. Are we here together? That's my makeup. As many as those who can help us, especially with anything that has to do with generator, with lightning, please help us. Thank God for those who are doing it. They are doing their best. And they have been doing it for years. Thank God. He can do what? We are not despising it. Thank God for them. We can get better. We can get it done. You know anything about it. There's anywhere this area, if you did, please help us. Is that clear with everybody here? You may not have access to me. See any of my pastors. Say, sir, I think this area, let me find out what's the problem. Let me make a suggestion. All that matter is let Jesus be glorified. I'm begging, I'm the one asking you now to help me. Is that clear with all of you? I may the Lord bless you all. In the name of Jesus. Again, thank God for our brethren who have been helping us with this over the years. Please, let's join them. Don't let's leave it for them alone. When they started, I know how much you said, a little of this now is something crazy. And they are not tired but we can help them also. One, two, three of us can say, okay, I want to join them. Let's join them. So that it will become more easier for everybody. You can say, I want to do it for the next one month. I want to do it for the next three months. God help me. I want to do it for the one year. It's not a big deal. One believer will do more than that for their kingdom. In their kingdom. Let's do this. a blessing. Can somebody say the Lord say amen? I don't like people. Sunday morning, I'm preparing. They're asking me, Things that should not even come to my mind. That's why I have all of you here. I will last time you all night praying. And when I'm not concerned, I mean, it's, it shouldn't be. Let's stop it. And you are the one that God will use. Can somebody say amen? Lift up your hand. One more time, may this Easter be your best Easter. You will never beg. In Jesus' mighty name. For the generator and the thing, you can see either Pastor Ade Tunji, Ugunji, or Agbaji, whatever idea you bring, they will call the people and work on it together. Is that clear? For the If you see those who are in technical, they will tell you those who are in charge and you know what to do. Surely.